What's up guys, Tim from Sports Game Mode HD and I'm back with another episode of the QPR series and today, 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 it it doesn't get much bigger than this guys. We've got a Champions League game. It really, really doesn't get much bigger than this. Um, yeah, um, we, we sort of got, we sort of got Barcelona. We've sort of got the Barcelona in, in, uh, in the quarterfinals. So last episode would have been the Atalanta game. In the first knockout round, which is why we're in the quarterfinals, obviously, we won it 2 1. Carlos Fierro got two goals for us. Uh, what did we win on aggregate? What was it? 4 4 2 on aggregate, something like that. Then we played Wigan. Abel Hernandez came up with the only goal for us 1 0. Then we played Norwich, beat them 2 1. Abel Hernandez and Mason Bennett got a goal, which was nice to see. Then then we went to, when we went to the new camp, or the camp new, whichever you want to say it. We drew 3-3. We matched them blow for blow. Junior Hoyler got us off to an absolute flying start with a goal in the third minute. Then Fierro scored before half-time to take it 2-1 because they did equalise. Then they took the lead and then Junior Hoyler got a 73rd minute goal to give us the lead. And then they then they equalised, pulled us back. It was an incredible game. We matched them blow for blow. We outdid them on possession. Um, I can't remember what our passing was like. Actually, I was, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I do believe we did it on possession. Yeah, yeah wait, uh, so we took a lead, they pulled it back on the fourth minute with Messi, then they took the lead, 2-1, then we took the lead, no, then we equalised, 2-2, then we took the lead, and then they pulled us back again, Clash and Hintler, where did the goal came from? Um, it was Simao messing around on the edge of our box, passed the ball back to Akore, Akore was surrounded by like three Barcelona players, it was typical Barcelona like hounding, hounding as like dogs they were, like surrounding my players like they do. Their pressing was incredible, and Okoye just panicked and just gave the ball away to Huntelaar, who just buried it. Obviously, he's got like a finishing of twenty, I believe, so he was never going to miss. But it was just incredible. I need to do stats. I didn't mean to hit analysis. I didn't mean to hit analysis. Actually, no, no, no. Let's have a look at analysis. This is what the passing was like. This is now four or five years into the future. What is Barcelona's passing like? If it loads, I've got blue ring of death. That's not good. There we go. Passing. Right, so let's see. Passing. Barcelona, obviously famous for their passing. Passing is not that impressive. What was ours like? That's more like it. Look at Akore, centre back, and Coleman. Cleverly in the deep line playmaker. He went off at half he went off at fifty four minutes and managed to get forty seven passes. So if you add Jack Rodwell's fifty one Onto that, that could have been nearly a hundred passes for our deep line playmaker. That's pretty impressive stuff. Then we go match stats. If we go to our possession, yeah, we did fifty-seven percent possession, ten shots, seven on target, nine shots, seven targets. So we matched them blow for blow out, did them a little bit. Fouls, we made them fouls, fouls more. Pass completion, eighty-three. Theirs was seventy-three. Average rating was better, so we matched them blow for blow. Just outdid them a little bit, you could say. An aggregate, 3-3 three, three is very good for us. Obviously, three away goals. Then we played West Ham. Thumped them 3-0. Marek Hazucha scored. Tom Hintz and Nathan Redmond. Nathan Redmond's been in incredible form. In the Premier League, he doesn't play in the Champions League. He doesn't He doesn't get in the team. I don't even know if he's registered, to be honest. Um, but he's form. He's up for, like, Young Player of the Year or something like that. But all this means in the league is we are still in third. And Tottenham and Man City still have games in hand on us. Four points behind Tottenham. Game in hand if they win it, which realistically they probably are. Seven points. A third is where we're going to probably finish. Man City. Got them next, I have, in the EFA Cup. Just just look at it. It's just filth. Look. Not one red dot. Not one. Not one. Not even Ars Arsenal couldn't do it. You know how good Arsenal are in football manager. They couldn't... Uh, it's incredible. I just don't know how... Because you're going to face in the final. I mean, actually, uh, that reminds me. It went to, where was it? Um, I didn't mean to do that either. Right, it was 4-0 to Dortmund. Is that right? Yeah, 4-0 on the, after the first tie. I was thinking Dortmund had got this in the bag. No, 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 no. Bayern Munich then went and thumped them 6-1. 6, -1. 6, 6 -1 at the quarterfinal stage of the Champions League. It was just amazing stuff. Uh, and that's crucial because if we win, by some miracle, we face them. We face Bayern Munich. That's that's this season really is turning into something just incredible. Is Redmond even registered? He's not even registered to the squad. That's why I can't play him. El Shirari's, but El Shirari's record in the Champions League is very impressive. Nine games, seven point five four rating. So he he warrants a place in the team. 
Um, Fierro, another god. But this season really has just been incredible. Let's just look at the lineups to see what they're like. Valdez, Alba, Bartra, Edgar, Lee, Cassiano, Mata, one Mata, Mascherano, Song, Iniesta, Sanchez, Messi. Wow. Okay. It doesn't get it does it doesn't get much bigger than this. This season has been such an incredible roller coaster. I mean we had to go through the qualifiers for the Champions League. We've had a community shield defeat to Arsenal, I believe it was, then we've had a cup got all the way to the Carling Capital One Cup final and lost to uh, Man City of course on extra time. We're we're in the semis of the FA Cup, we're in third in the Premier League. We we could we could our form merits being top or you know joint top or something ridiculous like that because we've been our level has been so good but Man City obviously not losing all year is just incredible and then Tottenham are matching them sort of in a way Tottenham okay Tottenham's not imp as impressive they've lost this season obviously and their points tally isn't that good I do believe they've lost anyway I'd assume they have I've not checked I didn't check I assume they have um what do we do against them I'm not sure if we beat them. Um, that's that's beside the point. Beside the point, they've been on. We've been on a top lap. Who's been sent off? mascherano has been sent off. Wow. Song's now suspended for the next game as well. Can we score in sewer? Please, please, please. Oh, Valdez says it. They've been. We've been at such a level that's incredible. And then they've just gone. They've just raised the level in the Premier League. It's just. I don't know how we're going to stop Man City this season, next season, season after. I just don't know how to stop. I mean, I've tried. I mean, someone said in the comments before, try unsettling them. Uh, I tried it. I've tried. I've tried. Uh, I've tried that in the past. Uh, a little bit. I might try it for this this FA Cup. Sanchez misses. <laughs> that was a pretty poor miss. I've tried. I might try it for the uh, FA Cup. I might try and just unsettle them. Do something. I mean, obviously it's straight after this. So I talk talk in the media. Matters scored, while carrying a niggle. niggle. That's awkward. That means we've got to have a massive second half with Seamus Coleman carrying an injury as well. That's not good either. We're fouling a lot more. I'm going to tell them I'm not very happy at all. Right. Uh, oh, my has been incredible. Who's been better? 7.42. 7. Right, Maya's coming up. Or oh, Maher. However you want to say it. Coleman's coming off two, and we'll put Corey into the right back. Corker, I should have put Kier on the bench, but he's not been good this, lately. He's not been good. He's been making some mistakes. And then the next change, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm drawing up plans also, other news. I'm drawing up contingency plans for a goalkeeper because... No, 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 no. Don't send him off. Don't send him off. No. No 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 don't do that no Right goodbye Champions League Well that was fun while it lasted That was fun I enjoyed I enjoyed our little run in the Champions League until Fierro decided to get sent off That's our chance gone That's it Just like that. Just like that. We're one nil down, ten men, without our super striker run up front, and this Hoylet can score here. Can we get Dave? No. Hernandez, Hoylet, Akore. We're trying hard. It's like you know, with possession, we're still somehow with ten men, still dominating them on possession. It's highly unlikely now we're going to do it. Highly unlikely. One one would be good enough, though, wouldn't it? Would it? No. Yeah, three three away goals beats their one. But it is highly, highly unlikely now. Highly unlikely. I'm gonna up this up to attack. We've got to go for it because you know at the moment we're out, so we've got to go for it. But goalkeeping, goalkeeper. Sorry, Stegen isn't happy. He wants to go to a bigger club. Well, I say he's unhappy. It's just like a minor problem with him. He wants to go to a bigger club, but he's perfectly happy. Like he's always pleasing the media. His morale is is good. All that sort of stuff. But the media keep giving me questions. Something like, are you going to sell to Stegen? I'm like, absolutely not. I have to believe in the future of the club or something like that. 
So if Sanchez misses again horribly, why have you still got him, Barca, if he's playing like that in you know, for you? I mean, in real life, he's a very, very, very good player, but seriously, two bad misses tonight. But goalkeepers, right, I'm thinking of potentially Masalera. I think that's how you say it. A Uruguayan goalkeeper, is he? Or I think he's Uruguayan. Uh, plays for some Turkish team at the moment. He used to play for Lazio. He's pretty beastly at the moment. I'm looking at potentially him and Hugo Lloris from Tottenham. And I think that was the only two at the moment I'm looking at. Both of them are nearing 30 or 30 years old. I think Lloris is 30. I'm not sure. Junior Hoyler. Junior Hoyler. El Shirari. El Shirari. Oh my god. God, I was just singing his praises before. I was singing his praises before the game. I said he wants his part. Hopefully, though, I won't have to sign a goalkeeper. Hopefully, I can keep the Steigen happy. Junior Hoylet. Junior Hoylet. Junior Hoylet. El Shirari, he's done it again. After another cross of Junior Hoylet. Ah. Oh, my God. At the, uh, at the game at the new Camp, Hoylet was incredible. Literally, Hoylet was making these runs down the wing, and I'd be jumping up and down, screaming. I'm trying to like restrain myself here, guys. I'm like jumping. I was like jumping up and down, screaming at him, like urging him on to keep running at them. Hernandez, El Shirari, Hernandez, Hernandez, put it in the box, put it in the box, put it in the box, in the box, in the box. Valdez saves it. Wow. Wow! 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 wow. With ten men, this series. This save is just it. First, there were what was it? We beat we've beaten Arsenal in late stages of games. We've beaten Man United, haven't we, or something like that? And now we've just gone with ten men from one nil down to beat Barcelona. And now we've got Bayern Munich in the next round. Uh, I'm going to find him one week's wages because that was a stupid dismissal. He's unhappy, of course he is. Uh, Controversial red Barcelona were given. I didn't realize they were down to 10 men. I didn't even notice. Uh, don't talk about that. Brilliant. Um, who who got sent to? Oh, Mascherano, didn't he? Of course he did. Of course he did. So it was 10 on 10. That's why our possession was still good. I didn't even. I forgot. I didn't even notice. Oh well. Chip paper. We're through. Right. Um, I feel you deserve the fine. Good lad. He's fine with us fining him. Right, Champions League, when's it going to be played? Do we know yet? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Right. Right, right, right. Next episode will be Bayern Munich in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Now, on a side note, actually, quickly before I go. I concede defeat in the league. That's gone. We're not going to make up eight points. Well, it's going to be even more than that because Man City won't lose. League's gone. FA Cup, we're going to lose to Manchester City now. No doubt, because they're unbeaten. So... Champions League it is. Let's go. Let's win the Champions League. Right, that guys, that was incredible. That that was incredible. I don't know how next episode is going to match it up, but I will see you guys for Bayern Munich.